Hey, what's up everyone? Tim Reset here, and uh, welcome to what is essentially the last week of trading for 2014. Today is uh, Monday, December 16th, and it is the week before the Christmas holiday. Uh, because Christmas falls on a Wednesday, and the markets will be closed middle of the week, um, the volume will essentially uh, start to dry up uh, going into Friday of this week and then not expecting a whole lot in terms of trading volatility and price action uh, in terms of big moves in, in wide ranges next week and then taking us through uh, the new year. So this is essentially the week that a lot of traders and firms are going to be um, doing some housekeeping, managing their books, and closing out of positions that they don't want to carry over into the new year because that liquidity and that volume will be available to the market. So if we take a quick look at the S&P, um, I have a couple other things that I want to talk about in terms of reviewing uh, the year of 2014, reviewing our trading, some things that you'll want to think about going forward, and some things that I like to reflect on when I'm kind of taking a look back and then starting to set up my goals and things for the following year. So before we do that, let's uh, take a look at where we're at in the E-mini S&P. Uh, we came down to the extension long at 1758 today and in doing so we bounced right up to the opposing short. So we've touched the extension long, we've come up to the halfway back short at 1783 and so we're at a very key level in terms of whichever 61.8% line breaks first is the direction that we're going to trade. Uh, that's the trend that we're going to go with. So if we break 1790 and start moving higher, that will validate that the 1758 long is the uh, direction we want to go. If 1783's hold and we sell off and break the 1745 of the extension long, then we'll be looking for uh, looking to trade in the direction of shorts. So two key levels, uh, some rather big levels. We, for the first time, made a lower low and uh, essentially a double top, but in the uh, Russell, I believe, and the Dow, we made lower highs. So this double top here on the ES was actually a very significant lower high in the Dow and the Russell. I think the NASDAQ was the only one to make a new high instead of double topping. So uh, looking for uh, not a whole lot of volatility or price action going into the end of the year, but those will be the two key levels uh, for the next uh, week of trading. 1790 and 1745 will be those uh, key levels. And you'll notice that the 1760 level that the extension uh, is trading off of does line up with support. And then the short at 1783 lines up with uh, some resistance. So there's not only uh, levels of Fibonacci levels that we're looking at, but there's also other traders who might not be looking at Fibonacci levels. They might be looking at market profile or just uh, straight up support and resistance and things like that. So there's a lot of confluence of indicators, if you will, at these levels. So it's a very key inflection point when you have a lot of things lining up. So one of the other things I wanted to talk about today, uh, going forward into 2014 and this time of year in general, I like to take a look and go through uh, my year uh, as it was and review my notebooks, review some of the things that I jotted down uh, throughout the year uh, on my notepads and through my trading notebooks and kind of see how things have progressed. The other thing I like to do is go back and look at my initial goals that I wrote down and formulated uh, this time the prior year and see how I meet, uh, how I either met, exceeded, or didn't meet those goals. So I'm going to put a couple of resources in the dashboard. I'm going to make a new section uh, and title it something uh, along the lines of goals or goal setting. And I have a, a handful of Word documents that I've put together and pulled from uh, people like Jim Collins, 
um, Tim Ferriss, uh, the author of Think and Grow Rich, the uh, Napoleon Hill uh, has a great self-assessment exercise I like to do at the end of the year, and a couple of other things that I'll put in there that you can either print off or download to your computer, and then you can uh, you know run through those exercises. Uh, some of them do take a little bit of time. You know you want to you want to really think about your response. Uh, especially, you know, the um, the exercises that Napoleon Hill's put together uh, that kind of stem from his book *Think and Grow Rich*. You know, your your answers may not necessarily relate or uh, be 100% uh, directly about trading, but there's a lot of things that we can uncover from some of these answers that don't appear to be trading related that when we go back and review them later or at another you know point in the future that we can kind of tie this in and and uncover some some really interesting psychological things that really do have an impact on our trading and you know really the way that we carry ourselves and, and live our lives so there's a couple really good uh, goal setting exercises I'll put in there uh, some stuff from Jim Collins that really helps formulate a little bit longer term outlook. So not only, you know, I talk a lot about day trading and swing trading, but you can't forget about the longer term uh, investing, retirement planning, and really, you know, integrating this shorter term trading into the larger piece of the pie and really focusing on or taking a step back from your from a narrow focus that you might be your day-to-day -day trading and really taking a step back and looking at a top-down approach and using this time of year when you know trading is slower and you know set aside an afternoon to go through your net worth and you know if you don't have it already, create some sort of Excel uh, spreadsheet or uh, just list of all the accounts that you have, all the assets and investments that you have, and kind of you know take a look at it as if you know you are essentially your own money manager, your own portfolio manager, and see you know how much cash do you have on hand, how much um, how much assets are tied up in you know one specific asset type versus you know. Um, all the different things that we might have in our portfolios it being things like stocks, bonds, but then also real estate investments uh, outside of uh, the intangible things like artwork, uh, you know, vehicles and, and some of the other toys that we have. You know, take a look at well, how much of my money is really tied up in a stock market, how much of it is tied up in my house. And then, you know, to take it a step further, you know, what are my expenses like for the year? Uh, how much money did I bring in? And do I need to make some adjustments to my lifestyle? These are all things that when you have a, a deep understanding of where you're spending your money and where you're bringing in your money from, and when that is really balanced and aligned with who you want to be and you know the lifestyle that you want to live and when it's under control then you can be in a state of mind that's you know calm and collected when you're going into each day uh, if you're day trading or if you're going into each week uh, just swing trading and so when you start to identify you know your larger goals and the bigger picture which I like to talk talk about a lot here on the blog you know, when we identify what our bigger goals and aspirations are, then we can really begin to break down, okay, you know, if, if I want the flexibility or the freedom to be able to move around and travel and spend time with, you know, my wife or my kids or my husband, uh, the approach to sitting down in front of the computer and day trading for 10, 12 hours a day, you know, would clearly not fit your lifestyle. Maybe swing trading would be a better approach and oftentimes is more along the lines of what people are looking for when they turn to trading or when they get kind of turned on to trading because I think what happens is 
you know, there's this allure or excitement around, you know, being your own boss and working for yourself as a trader, but you forget that in a nine to five job, you work nine to five and you essentially come home and don't have to think about work. Well, with you know running your own business or in the in the sense of day trading, not only are you there when the markets are open in front of the screen, there's a lot that goes on after hours, and there's a lot of lot more dedication and involvement than just sitting down and clicking the mouse and making a few hundred or a few thousand dollars in the morning and then you know going off to the beach or uh, whatnot. So when those things are aligned, that's when your trading ends up fitting in with your personality and your lifestyle and that's when you have a really congruent trading approach and how you know you have a really congruent trading approach. So, you know, this is a great time of year to kind of sit down and run through your goals, re review uh, the things that you learned, not only looking at your goals in terms of you're not only looking at success in terms of how much did I make or how much have I gained from a monetary perspective, but also how much knowledge have I gained and how much you know intellectual uh, how much have I grown intellectually and from a mindset perspective so uh, with that you know I'll post a handful of these exercises and uh, various tools that I use to kind of put together uh, a self assessment and then create my goals for the for the following year I'll put those in the dashboard you can go ahead and take a look through those print those off save them um, you know and really dive into them and I really like to sit down and spend an entire afternoon or an entire morning uh, when you know between Christmas and New Year's and just sit down uh, grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and really think through some of these things because some of my greatest uh, I guess I light bulb moments or aha moments haven't come from actively trading uh, when the markets are open there are things that I put together or things that seem to click so to speak after the market's closed and when I'm doing these kind of self-reflective exercises or going through my trades and and you know looking at a, uh, a clump of 100 or 200 trades and looking through the data and kind of breaking things down and picking things apart so I hope you all have a great week uh, in terms of things to watch out for this week, we have the FOMC meeting announcement on Wednesday. So that will really be the um, kind of guiding direction going forward into 2014, uh, where the uh, Federal Reserve is going to, you know, look to, uh, or at least uh, guide their with their wording uh, where they feel the like we're headed that'll be a really important statement to uh, pay attention to and see how the market responds to that uh, other than that next week will be a, a really light week and all the way into the following Wednesday which will be <coughs> uh, New Year's Eve uh, in, you know into the into the new year so um, I'll go ahead and post some of these uh, goals and, and worksheets and things into the dashboard. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, whether you uh, celebrate Christmas or or not. Um, I wish you all the uh, best of luck in your endeavors in uh, 2014, and there's a lot of cool things and new things that I'll be um, introducing into the uh, e -mini Mind. Uh, community going forward in 2014 so feel free if you want to uh, talk more individually about your situation shoot me an email tim at eminimind.com uh, this tends to be a little bit slower time for uh, emails and things like that so I do have a little bit more time to uh, respond and you know uh, address personal uh, Things that are that are more personal to your situation, and I'd be happy to, uh, you know, walk you through any of my um, 
any of the, the worksheets and things that I've created uh, if you need a hand kind of uh, piecing together your goals or or if you if you're not sure you know what goals and metrics uh, you you should uh, set for the coming year so I hope you all have a, a great holiday and uh, there will be no market analysis video on Monday I'll post um, couple other I have a couple other videos and things that uh, some documentaries and some other cool things to to share over the next uh, week or two uh, but look for another market analysis uh, video when uh, things uh, pick up in uh, the new year thanks a lot and I hope you all have a great week